Nerve block to the ear. Sensory innervation to the ear is supplied by the auriculotemporal nerve, greater auricular nerve, lesser occipital nerve, and auricular branch of the vagus nerve. The greater auricular nerve penetrates the cervical fascia at the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid, 6 to 7 cm below the external auditory meatus. It ascends antero superiorly over the muscle. A few centimeters below the ear, it divides into anterior and posterior branches. The posterior branch supplies the mastoid area in the middle and lower ear. The lesser occipital nerve exits at the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid 4 to 5 cm below the external auditory meatus. It courses superiorly along the posterior border of the muscle. At the area of the mastoid process, it passes medial to the insertion of the sternocleidomastoid. The nerve then branches to supply the medial upper pole of the ear and the lateral occipital area. The auriculotemporal nerve penetrates the fascia at the preauricular area just anterior to the tragus. It provides sensation to the lateral upper part of the ear. The sensory branch of the vagus nerve supplies sensory innervation to the external auditory meatus and part of the concha. Field block to the ear. Blocking the greater auricular nerve. Begin at the inferior pole where posterior branches of the greater auricular nerve enter. Introduce the needle inferior and slightly posterior to the external auditory meatus. Direct the needle towards the fascia of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. 1 ml of 2% local anesthetic solution is deposited in this area. Next, the needle is again partially withdrawn redirected and advanced 1 to 2 cm superiorly and supero anteriorly beneath the earlobe, depositing 0.5 ml of anesthetic solution along these sites. To block the auricular branch of the lesser occipital nerve, insert the needle posterior to the insertion of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Direct the needle supero medially. Blockade of the auriculotemporal nerve. Insert the needle anterior to the tragus. Deposit 0.5 ml of 2% anesthetic solution at the deep subcutaneous plane. Partially withdraw the needle, redirect superiorly, and advance anterior to the proximal part of the helical rim. Deposit 1 ml of anesthetic solution along the deep subcutaneous plane along the needle's path. Blockade the sensory branch of the vagus. Infiltrate 0.5 ml of 2% lidocaine solution into the conchal area, lateral and posterior to the opening of the external auditory meatus along the thin subcutaneous plane.